I'm Big Jim with Big Jim's Bow Company, and I'm here today to try to help you out if you're having a difficulty deciding on which one of my bows to choose from. I've basically got three different models. Now there's several different options that might differentiate one from the other, but for the most part, I mean, all three of my models are all offered in takedown versions, um, and all but the recurve is offered in a one piece also. So if you know that you want a recurve, well, that pretty much covers a desert bighorn. But if you're not sure and you really doesn't matter to you whether it's recurve or longbow and you're just trying to determine which is the best bow for you, uh, there's several different things to consider. And it's if you're a target shooter or if you're a hunter or if you're both, you want to be able to do everything with one bow. Um, you know, I really think you ought to buy one of each. But you're probably not going to do that to start off with. So, um... You know, we'll start off with my Buffalo. It's a, uh, generally it's a longer longbow. And because of which it can be, or can be perceived to be a little bit more stable. Not always the case, but not necessarily the most important thing in accurate shooting. Um, relatively light, very quiet, respectable when in speed. And, uh, just a pleasure to shoot. Now, it can inhibit uh, your shooting a little bit from tree stands or ground blinds due to its overall size. And because of that, either the recurve or the thunder child might be a little bit better option for you if you do a lot of ground hunting from inside of ground blinds or tree stand hunting and uh, shooting from the clouds so to speak. So it's more minimal style or length will make your maneuverability much greater. This bow is designed to be shot with the same draw length, only on average roughly six inches shorter than what the Buffalo is. Some have, their, have some concerns about stability due to its shortness. Uh, most people find it to be surprisingly stable, quite easy to shoot. A lot of that's due to a slightly higher brace height uh, and uh, you know they're a lot of fun, light, incredibly quiet, very respectable speed also and uh, you know again a joy to shoot, fun to carry. And you've got the Desert Bighorn. Now a big advantage to the Desert Bighorn that the other bows don't have is that you can order extra sets of limbs for this. So you can change your limbs out and go up in weight or down in weight you know at any time you want having the same riser that you're getting used to, that you essentially get used to shooting one feel of bow and change your weight out accordingly. And uh, so that's an option that you really don't have in the others. Although I do make a three piece buffalo, so you could do that with that bow too. I don't have one of those here today. Um, but all the other options are pretty much available on everything that's horn tips and the different woods and the beaver tail grips. The uh, Desert Bighorn Sight windows cut past center an eighth of an inch. That's not an option on the long bows because the risers are much so, uh, smaller. The uh, Desert Binghorn's got a little extra heft in the riser to help keep it together so I can cut it a little bit past center, making arrow tuning slightly easier. You know, it's not the end all in arrow tuning, but you know, it's a little more forgiving on, on uh, different sizes because of that. Faster than my longbow models but uh, you know not so much so that it's going to run away from the show you know so but quite quite respectable on speed for this one also um, quiet bows very little to no hand shock whatsoever you know a joy to take in the woods or to the range and just a good feel good bow you know a beautiful bow to be able to take out and, and uh, have a great day in the field with your friends. Check us out at BigJimsBowCompany.com. You can see lots of pictures there of the bows and the different options that we have. Give us a call if you'd like. You can place an order or put a deposit down for a custom bow either online or through the phone. And uh, you know, you check us out on Instagram or YouTube or Twitter and all those other social media gathering places. 
Uh, we're also on Trad Gang and Leatherwall. If you're looking for references, come see us at uh, an archery event near you. We have an events page online. It tells us where it tells you where we're going to be at throughout the uh, 3D season, which is typically February through August. And see that we'll be probably going to be somewhere near you, unless you're out far out west. And it might just be worth a road trip to come have a good time at an event.